Hi guys, Anthony from The Hot End. In this episode, I'm going to show you why I think every printer needs a hardened nozzle. Alrighty, so for this little experiment, I'm going to show you a series of um, compounds, PLAs, ABS, TP, TPU, um, beer, carbon fiber, and wood filaments under the microscope. Okay, so this is standard PLA at about a hundred times magnification. So you can see the edges of that are quite smooth. So there's not much coarse there. That uh, flake you can see is just the metallic um, pigment that they added to the PLA to give it a me metallic sheen. That's nothing to worry about. Now, if I swap this out for beer, this is buzzed filament, which is made from byproducts of beer. You can see all the um, the chunkies in there. Not entirely sure what this filament consists of. It just says that it's the uh, recycled waste from making beer. I doubt any of that's going to scratch up your nozzle, but still, it's very cool to see. You can see still it's nice and smooth. I can't see this going to be um, damaging to your, your hot end. It seems pretty fine to me. Next on the list we have standard ABS. Again, that's super smooth. you can see all these specks of dirt and dust this is actually straight out of the bag from the manufacturer I'm not going to give away manufacturer names because they're all the same at this magnification um, this is why I believe everybody needs to have the um, the duster so I'll put a link in the description to my previous video showing the oiler and the duster um, all of these particles are going to accumulate in your hot end so you can see there's crap everywhere, all over it. There's just dirt, dust, random crap from when they made the PLA, uh, ABS for this one. Don't know what that is. But it's interesting under this magnification because um, you can't hide anything. So again, the ABS, that should be fine. Now we'll get into TPU. So this is TPU, aka Ninja Flex. Again, this one's nice and smooth. There shouldn't be much harm here for your hot end. Sorry, it's very difficult to focus on this thing. Um, what else have we got? Here's another PLA from a different manufacturer. This one's a silver metallic. So you can see those color pigments in there suspended in the PLA, which is quite cool. But um, that's all smooth. That's not going to chop up your hot end. If you're only going to be printing PLA and ABS, um, you're probably going to be fine without needing a new hot end, but I'll show you why. Right, this next one is wood. So this one is wood fiber. And you can see now we're getting super rough. So that's like sandpaper going through your hardened nozzle or your um, copper brass nozzle. So each time that's moving, that's going to be taking a chunk of your nozzle with it and boring a... Um, so picture it moving like this through your hot end. That's just going to be abrasively, yeah, completely screwing up your hot end. Now if I show you some sandpaper under... This is sandpaper under the microscope. 
doesn't look much different, does it? Sandpaper? And... Wood fibres. And lastly, I know everybody's waiting for... Carbon fibre. Wow, look at that. That is completely going to walk up your hot end. So a lot of filaments have additives which will, um, which are, the particles are so fine that they're not even listed as that you should need a harder nozzle, but wood fill, I wouldn't use it on a standard nozzle at all, ever. Carbon fiber, you're going to blow through a nozzle in quarter of a roll. Um, even things like um, glow-in-the-dark filaments, they've got pigment in them which will just grind through your hot end like sandpaper. So I bought this microscope specifically for this video, so please give it a thumbs up. Uh, they're not cheap. Alright, now lastly, which I think you'll find most awesome to the extreme, here we have a hot end. There you go, so you can't say I haven't showed you my hot end. This is the Micro Swiss hardened nozzle, which is twin clad coating, wear resistant and high lubricity. I can't even pronounce that. Um, so that's gonna, what they've done is they've put an electroplated, a, I believe it's electroplated, they've put a coating on the standard nozzle to make it more uh, resistant to the sandpaper wear and tear from those other filaments that I showed you. So you can see that's what it should look like. Nice, round, just works. Here is what happens when you carbon fiber on a standard nozzle. So that is not even one print. Let's see if I can get that in focus. That's almost um, not even quarter of a roll of carbon. And that's just screwed up. You can see on the sides that it's more of an oblong now and not a round circle. And um, the more you print with your abrasives, the more it is going to completely sand out your hot end and you're not going to have a nice consistent flow. It's not going to be precise anymore, it's just going to be a sausage of crap filament coming out. Okay, and here's another one for you. There we go, There's, that's a really good one actually. Um, so that's got a little bit of uh, PLA still stuck in it, but you can see how much abuse that, that hot end has taken. Um, just wear and tear, general wear and tear of your hot end. Everybody needs one of these. Look at the difference. Yes, it's been used, it's scratched up, but um, it's certainly a lot cleaner than those other two. So I'm going to put a link in the description for Micro Swiss. You can get them through Protopasta or Direct. Um, I think you can get them direct. There's a number of stores online that will sell these. Um, and yeah, I, I highly recommend everybody get themselves a hardened nozzle unless you want to be scratching your head as to why your prints aren't working. Because unless you've got a microscope, you can't see this with your naked eye. Looking at the end of the uh, hot end, it just looks fine. But when you look under a microscope, you can start to see all the nitty gritty details coming through as to why your layers look crap and why your prints look terrible. 
Anyway guys, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you enjoyed having a microscopic view of what um, your various filaments look like and um, what it does to your, your nozzles. Please give this video a like, please subscribe. If you've got any other ideas you want to see under the microscope to do with 3D printing, please let me know and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers guys!